What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to another Ball Mike Does Golf video. So anyway guys, I know in one of my other videos I said something about doing a Costco glove review. So here it is. Um, I've recently bought these. Oh, I haven't played for a month of doing with the elbow shit, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I bought these suckers. Costco gloves aren't too bad actually, other than a couple things. So, so here's the use. I've only got a handful of rounds on these things. Like this one maybe has two rounds and a little bit of uh, range or simulator work indoors last night. This glove <clears throat> has already started to tether or whatever you want to call it. I don't know if you can see that. And this thing was brand spanking new last night. So, <clears throat> some things to be to know before you actually go buy these things. So one of them last night, the son of a bitch, so I would use it maybe one round, two rounds or something like that. So this one's been used one round. It's really, really stretched out. So this one here though, still kind of goes good. Now the other glove that I had, I wish I would've kept it. I got pissed off because it stretched out so much like it was like a three X and I usually wear like an XL most of the time, or sometimes an XXL, but most of the time, it was so big that this strap came all the way over to here, and it wouldn't even catch the Velcro. That's how much the glove had stripped out. But just some things to be, be cautious of when you buy these. The tackiness and the quality of the leather, in my opinion, is really solid. It really is. It's, um, I've played in humid weather all the time here in Kansas, and they've done a really good job so far. They're really good looking gloves. Um, you know, as far as, you know, being hot and sweaty, and most of the time I just ruin a glove anyway, but this is the packaging, pretty solid packaging. Um, they even got a little a chart or whatever you want to call it right there to put your hand on it blah 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 stuff like that so <clears throat> recommendations <clears throat> on these gloves yes i recommend them however buy a smaller glove than normal so if you are a large i would recommend buying a medium if you're a, a small i don't know if they make anything smaller than that but i would definitely recommend buying a size smaller at, at least I'm gonna go trade these in um, go back to Costco this is a brand new packaging because I bought two of these things because they're like $22 or something like that which is a smoking ass deal because I mean gloves man I was buying those tailor-made and Callaway gloves and those those fuckers are 23 24 dollars thanks to inflation and uh, bullshit like that. But anyway, I would, you know, ruin those gloves and, you know, a couple of rounds, they would just be destroyed. So, and so I switched to a Mizuno glove, which those were around 16 bucks, but uh, those were the same thing. They kind of, they stretch out too much, blah, blah, blah. But the, the Callaway, the, the Titleist, Foot Joy, and TaylorMade gloves are really freaking good gloves. These are solid. I mean, the material on these, I really like them. They're, they're sticky. They, they do well. Um, so, yes, I do recommend them. However, buy a smaller size than normal because they stretch out like a bitch. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, hope you liked the video. Make sure you hit the notification icon bell. I'll be doing some reviews of my long drive stuff. As you guys know, that that's what I'll be uh, doing soon. Costco gloves, yes, I recommend. As always... Have a great week. God bless and go Kansas City Chiefs.